in the name of Jesus drought in your life that even when it is physical rainy season it is still dry season spiritually financially and otherwise I decree and declare let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall you welcome to another spirit filled message on christocentric message if you're new to this channel i would entreat you to hit on that subscribe button and then to like this video as well i would want you to share this message across because we believe that as this message is coming forth it's going to bless you your graces are going to be imparted onto you and then god is going to visit your home thank you for watching stay blessed you know if you are open to the realm of the spirit there are many things that begin to happen to you immediately you are open to the realm of the spirit number one you'll find out that being open to the realm of the spirit either by the holy ghost or any other spirit already gives you an advantage over the earth realm whether it is true divination or it is true genuine spiritual encounter with the holy spirit the moment you are open to the realm of the spirit you already have an advantage above the ordinary believer number two the modus operandi of the earth realm is not the same as the realm of the spirit for instance in the realm of the spirit i do not have to talk to you to know what i'm saying i can transfer my thoughts directly to you without speaking if i hold this plant in the realm of the spirit i don't have to study it biologically you see that now yes i can transfer the feeling of that plant and have the impulse of that understanding you have to understand how i'm giving you certain examples in the realm of the spirit time and distance does not operate the way it works here if i need to move from here to this fan i will have to walk but in the realm of the spirit i can be here and immediately leave this spot and i am there an example what happens to you when you are in a dream you can be in a dream and in one moment you are in a house and then the scene changes you are somewhere else the same you and yet you are still there lying down in your room are we together now now in the realm of the spirit the holy spirit listen carefully the holy spirit is not the only one who has information any spirit at all including the devil has some information that is higher than this earth realm are we together now you would learn that there were times the bible records how that these these fallen angels came and the bible says they had interactions with the daughters of men they did not just come and meet them and produce giants out of them there were things that they taught them there were certain forbidden knowledge that was given to them satan himself is not an ignorant spirit i hope you know that because satan was once in heaven number two it was not satan alone that fell in heaven he fell with other spirits and there is no record of eroding the memory of the things that they know they still have that knowledge many people have interacted with strange spirits entered into all kinds of fraternities and covenants with them in exchange to superior knowledge they have used it in it they have used it to advance technology they have used it in different forms and in different fashions and some of them are honest enough to tell you that it was not just the making of themselves they were assisted by the realm of the spirit so when you are open to the realm of the spirit you will encounter many things can i tell you this if you do not know the road to go to a place and you find me there i can lead you anywhere and tell you that's where you were to go to this is what is happening to many people so they are open to the realm of the spirit because of the energy that is exerted through fasting and prayer spiritual exercises the moment you do that it is easy to have that ascendance in the spirit but the challenge is when you are there now satan is more than happy to hold your hand and usher you and he will give you a tour that is not consistent with the character of christ we return with some of these experiences and because we do not have a system of verification this is also the reason why there is a lot of inaccuracy even in the prophetic 
because the prophetic works by the same formula you are open to the realm of the spirit and you capture speakings sights and sounds from the realm of the spirit but when there is no system to order and organize it based on scripture you can download all kinds of things that's why some work some don't work because they are a capture of mass information from the realm of the spirit what i'm teaching you may look a bit complicated but just pay attention you will understand what i'm saying hallelujah i have had several visionary encounters by the grace of god this is a realm of reality that i live in and i can tell you if the lord did not teach me the system of guidance that i want to provide for you i probably would have been in all shades of error by now all shades of error the next thing i need to teach you about the realm of the spirit is that the realm of the spirit operates with similitudes and you must understand not the activity but the spirit the meaning of those activities because one of the reasons why error has come into the body of christ is because most times we want to repeat exactly what we saw happen in the realm of the spirit so i give you an instance if in the realm of the spirit i I look at these people in the realm of the spirit and I see them maybe dancing or doing some kind of thing I may not stay to decipher the essence of what was happening I will come down and want to act out the same thing I saw so if I see someone walking five times from the realm of the spirit it may be a prophetic typology of something but then i come physically and i now say well based on what i saw except if god says to act it out but i now tell the person do what you saw and by the time that person leaves and gets result someone else will come and before you know it it will become a spiritual pattern are we together now yes someone will now go to his house and say for me to get a miracle i must walk around five times with no understanding When God began to open me up to encounters, I became troubled myself. Once upon a time, those days in Zaria, there was such a move of the spirit and people started having extraordinary encounters where they would have what you know to be gold dust, silver dust, physically. Gold dust will begin to appear and it, there is an encounter that happened like that one time in church history. It began to happen in several places and people started idolizing those encounters it didn't last more than three weeks and god seized it till tomorrow it was an act of his mercy otherwise some people would have built monuments around it you see that now there is a serious disclaimer listen do you know why i'm teaching you this don't just get believers born again and start stretching them fast 21 days fast 30 days unguided and unassisted it looks like an accurate spiritual journey but you are about to lead the people into experiences that their maturity cannot handle they will interact with devilish spirits they will return with arrogance from that encounter until the fatality that happens in their future brings you to remorse you now regret the fact that you expose the people this way we have to be careful there is a pattern for spiritual growth and if we do not submit ourselves to it we will be in trouble when jesus christ began to walk with the disciples we must follow the order and the pattern that he used to build the saints are we together now yeah. supernatural encounters the realm of the spirit is a very vast realm full of all kinds of possibilities haven't said this the bible itself listen carefully the bible provides a road map into profitable spiritual encounters the bible scripture provides a road map into profitable spiritual encounters that means that it is possible for you to enjoy supernatural encounters benefit from them and yet not bring error out of them to deceive the body remember the morale of this teaching is to help us 
experience encounters one of the graces that we have enjoyed and we enjoy in this ministry is the grace for encounters but i will tell you why it has been effective without birthing all versions of error almost all encounters if left unbalanced will bring error almost all encounters if left unbalanced or in, how do i put it now is, is it unbalanced will bring all kinds of error the body of christ today is like a patient in icu and encounters have brought these kinds of imbalance there are men and women of god today who will die believing what they are doing because it came from encounters there are individuals today who will die believing what they are doing because it came from encounters and you see one thing about conviction is conviction will always lead to influence the moment you are convicted about something eventually someone will believe you i hope you're understanding what i'm teaching so far yes so the bible provides a biblical roadmap to supernatural encounters this was the first thing the lord began to teach me that before i am open to these extraordinary spiritual experiences i must understand the pattern of scripture so that all of these encounters i have will pass through the sieve of the word the sieve of how god behaves let me tell you there are many encounters in my life that scripture has filtered you will never hear me share them i have met many many demon spirits but it may just be one or two occasions that you hear me say that because you see when you are teaching this is the reason why most times i do not like to talk about my encounters do you know why i do not want you to build your conviction based on those encounters alone i want you to build your conviction based on these foundational encounters that i want to show you the average believer today who is exposed to the apostolic and prophetic ministry for instance will feel bad feel insulted and even feel unspiritual if they are not seeing visions it's almost like a stigma to your spiritual experience how long have you been born again 10 years do you see do you hear well not exactly i hear the holy ghost sometimes well, ah, I say, my goodness my god that means something is wrong with your christian experience so in a bid in a bid to honor um what you call your pursuit for spiritual growth there is such an itch and an appetite for any extra anything that just just let me hear a sound let me see a being demonic or spiritual let me just see something and hear something and because of that hunger on one hand god intends to give you these encounters but the reason why for many of us god does not bring those encounters is because you have not been taught how to decipher encounters to profit from them it's not because your spiritual level has not reached there god just wants to help you he's withdrawing these encounters is an act of mercy to help you stay true to doctrine are we blessed this is how the lord taught me the apostolic and the prophetic ministry will expose you to various encounters you will not believe how many things i've seen standing here and preaching if i did not have this understanding that i'm teaching you you will never almost be able to settle down and teach a correct sermon every sermon will be turned to revelation because as for sight you will keep seeing the discipline to be able to turn down these things and focus on doctrine to mentor believers many sincere people do not have that every time their eyes see something there is an urge to say what they are seeing and it becomes a distraction to mentoring believers so you see that services become full of just revelatory processes not revelation of scripture prophetic revelations and there is a place for that don't get me wrong except that after a while you see that believers don't mature again and then the body of christ also has been baited into that state of that spiritual state when you come and sit down and the truth is being taught 
that interest to endure doctrine is not there again apostle this is 30 minutes you've not seen anything so pastors and ministers are under pressure if you want membership be ready to see something or say something i don't care what you know if you are not seeing and you are not saying anything be ready for empty pews we must balance this remember that i love the body of christ and remember that everything i say is to the intents that we become matured are we together now the average man of god is under severe pressure right now pressure for the prophetic pressure to be able to reveal something if you go to pray with someone and you bring bible verses and you tell the person acts chapter this verse this says this you you, you can even see the disconnect we wasted our time prepared honorarium cooked food to come and receive this rubbish there you see that there, there is something wrong while you are laughing i want you to pay attention you may not see the effect now let it continue down the line that's why people lie even with the prophetic because there has to be a way that pressure makes people lie we say things god is not saying body of christ hear me this is not just a message for koinonia this is a message for the body of christ when a man of god can teach scripture and help you understand the ways of god he's under pressure because he looks like a fatal failure as far as ministry is concerned i don't know what happened to your eyes and your ears but we're not interested and very clearly the person becomes frustrated and as a result he will say you know what if this is the formula for relevance let me go for my fasting and the devil says exactly this is what i wanted he waits for you and once you are done with your fasting and all of that he now shows up and begins to introduce you into all kinds of things you find out that the more you see the more you are deviating from god's patterns many people did not start the way they are now let me tell you i submit to you it's difficult to live in the realm of encounters and still be sound and detailed this is what i want to teach you now there is a road map that if you follow if you follow you will never mislead the body through encounters your encounters will profit you and then profit the body if you are operating in the prophetic here please listen to me because this is this particularly will help you are we blessed so the bible lets us know that encounters are very important they create conviction whether encounters just with the word as you're studying of visionary encounters when God was giving me a revelation about this ministry I had supernatural encounters I've shared some of them with you my life is full of all kinds of encounters at different junctions of my life you would hear fathers like Bishop David Oedipo share their encounters they would tell you he was in an 18 hour vision is that true and he saw this and that and explain it several other men of God will tell you there are others who were led by angels into realms and they were taught certain dimensions of the healing ministry there are people who had all kinds of encounters some of them have profited the body of christ today now let me begin to teach you how to balance encounters rule number one no encounter is equal to doctrine no encounter no visionary encounter automatically becomes a doctrine do not make doctrine out of encounters do not make doctrine out of encounters doctrines listen encounters are they, they are classified in a category of dealings called personalized dealings personalized dealings means that is god's way of working with you to help you to be effective it will profit the body of christ but do not turn encounters into doctrines so 
if let me let me just leave that issue so that we don't create trouble in the body of christ but it's very important for you to know this rule number one do not suddenly turn an encounter into a doctrine the doctrines of scripture are already stated it is true listen carefully there is a reason why these doctrines were put here in scripture and if we violate them do you know what will happen we will start creating pseudo christian experiences that are not exactly god rule number one do not create doctrines out of encounters number two every encounter must submit to scripture every encounter you must vet your encounters from the lens of scripture every encounter no matter even if it's jesus you see any encounter must submit to scripture no matter how extraordinary that encounter is number three you interpret encounters listen carefully or let me put it this way scripture becomes your lens for interpreting encounters do not interpret encounters with feelings you must go to scripture for instance two of us can have a vision i can see a chain in the spirit you can see a chain too it means different things to both of us we cannot create i'm saying this with every sense of respect and responsibility to the body of christ there are people who god has helped to bless the body in whatever capacity and we honor them but there is a big mistake do not say every time you see chains it means bondage it is not true you have to go to the bible to get your explanation not your mind a chain does not always mean bondage nakedness does not always mean shame so by the time i put all these things if you see a chain bondage if you see nakedness shame nakedness can mean intimacy it can mean you are growing with the holy ghost the holy spirit and scripture has to interpret that are we together now most people just come up with their ideas about encounters this is what i saw this is what i saw i think this should be it and we ship it down and mislead people that includes dreams look up please when you wake up from a dream you don't just go and buy a book to interpret it except if that book submits to scripture are we together now many belief systems that have authorized satan to destroy us today came from these dreams and encounters take note of these rules one remember that no encounter in itself becomes a doctrine no the doctrine of scripture is written do you know the thing about doctrines doctrines should be taught and explained not created the doctrines that make for the maturity of the believer is already there you have to understand this every other thing supports our growth it does not create the basis for it the bible listen carefully the bible has already set the manual for the growth of the believer there's no need to invent another route for spiritual growth. Jesus, the early church, the patriarchs have set enough precedence. There is no level of spiritual growth you want to attain unto that scripture has not provided the roadmap for. So doctrines must submit to scripture and your interpretation must come from scripture, not your ideas. Scripture. Hallelujah your interpretation must come from scripture now listen very carefully the holy ghost when he began to teach me about encounters he taught me four cardinal encounters listen carefully don't assume you understand what i'm saying there are four foundational encounters and the holy spirit taught me that these are the major encounters every believer must have if you do not have these four encounters no matter which other encounter you have 
there will be trouble i'm going to run through them because of time why am i teaching you this so that when you begin to have extraordinary encounters because you see soaking yourself in this glory is exposing you to the realm of the spirit and you must be guided by scripture so that we do not have all kinds of error that come and then you connect the error to koinonia you say it was when i came for koinonia i fell under the anointing and i was in the realm of the spirit this is what i saw this is how i came and you see the way the devil does it is he will take advantage of this atmosphere to mislead you when you now tell someone it was in koinonia that thing started he will usually believe you and respect you but up you go into the realm of error Are you blessed I have kept these four encounters and I pay attention to them my entire life these are the encounters that have become pillars that guide me as I approach the realm of the Spirit and I'm introducing you to this and this is also a message to the body of Christ these encounters that I'm about to list and maybe briefly just touch they supersede any other encounter listen if these are the only encounters you have in your life and you never have any vision again in your life you will still fulfill your god-given mandate the foundational encounters that every child of god or everyone on earth should have are you ready for this have you understood everything i've said so far yes I want you to appreciate these things that we teach because number one they are consistent with scripture but number two some of these trainings came from a standpoint of pain blood and tears I'm praying that you will place value on them some of you what I'm saying you may not need it now until you keep rising one day you will see and thank the Lord that you got this doctrinal balance even as you approach the realm of the spirit some of you as I share this with you the Lord will use it to give you hope and give you confidence as far as your Christian experience is concerned four encounters the Lord taught me number one the first encounter that every believer must have is encounter with Jesus the son of the living God please write it down it does not mean a visionary picture of Jesus you can have an encounter through scripture an encounter through the word of salvation with Jesus the son of the living God please write it down just be patient and write it down the Bible says in John chapter 3 and verse 16 for God so loved the world that he gave his one and only begotten son he says that whosoever should believe in him should not perish but have everlasting life can I tell you this no matter how many visions you see in your life if you do not have an encounter with Jesus the son of the living God you are going to hell it's as simple as that encounters don't redeem people it is Jesus that redeems people encounters don't give people eternal life it is the son of the living God so if you have 30 encounters in your life and Jesus is not part of them you are on your way to hell ladies and gentlemen please hear me this is this these are safety nets an encounter with the son of the living God the first encounter that the hunger of any living being would push him to in that order is an encounter with the son of the living God it is a foundational encounter you must have you must pray that everybody around your life your church they must have that encounter what does it mean to encounter the son of the living God that the Holy Spirit through the ministry of the gospel will furnish the reality of the love of jesus the love of the father to your heart and bring you to a point where you accept the truth of his substitutionary sacrifice are we together now to the end that you receive of his life eternal life the bible says it's an encounter this is the record that God hath given us eternal life and this life is in his son he says whosoever hath the son hath life eternal everybody say encounter with the son 
there are many people today i'm sorry to use this expression but even people in ministry who operate the prophetic but have not had this encounter i hope you know that yes there are people who came just from tradition and then they came into the city and just continued what they were doing an encounter with the son of god i know people who started having visions and had prophetic inclinations even before they got born again yes that is a possibility your very wiring your very prophetic wiring can tilt you to the prophetic and people can begin to recognize it some of you know people like that in your villages they are sincere people they don't practice any evil that you know but we call them seers they have eyes that see they can tell you be careful and what they say will happen exactly so can i tell you those same people need encounters the encounter with the son of the living god this is doctrine if you do not have an encounter with the son of the living god you are in trouble why because no other encounter sustains the power to save you and translate you from the kingdom of darkness to the kingdom of god's dear son my brothers and my sisters no matter how long you fast no matter how long you pray no matter how many realms and dimensions you step into even if you go to heaven even if it's the true heaven and you come down if you don't have an encounter with the son of the living god you are going to hell it's as simple and honest as that are we learning the first foundational encounter that every believer must have encounter with the son of god number two very quickly the second encounter is an encounter with the person and the ministry the ministry of the holy spirit in that order second only to your encounter with the son of the living god you need an encounter with the person and the ministry of the holy spirit please look up the ministry of the holy spirit is not for pastors the ministry of the holy spirit is not for preachers it's not just for some supernatural people the ministry of the holy spirit is for everybody jesus told us that he is the only shorty to have been guided he says when he the spirit of truth is come he will guide you into all truth satan can use truth to destroy it's not only a lie that destroys the truth can destroy too many believers have not been introduced into this encounter with the person of the holy spirit <laughs> an encounter with the holy spirit is more than praying in tongues no just because hands were laid on you and you are praying in tongues when we say have you met the holy ghost you say yes no 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 just because you have eaten someone's food does not mean you've met the person no you benefited from the person but have you met the person can i tell you this especially for those of us who are called into ministry all those who have been mightily used by god from scripture and modern history and even today will tell you they can trace their exploits to this one encounter with the person and the ministry of the holy spirit we've dealt with that here so i don't want to go so deep into that the holy spirit realize the Holy Spirit is God. The Holy Spirit is not an archangel. The Holy Spirit is not one of those winds flowing in the realm of the Spirit. No, the Holy Spirit is God. You can encounter his office. When you are encountering the Son, he plays a role there. But you can en encounter the person of the Holy Spirit. It is true. The benefit of that encounter is guidance. I've taught you. The benefit of that encounter is empowerment, direction, the Holy Spirit. So that whatever you see and whatever you hear, you can trust him to guide you. He will tell you what is from him and he will tell you what is not from him. You do not use the purity of what you are seeing to know whether it's from God or not. No, it is the voice of the Holy Spirit that will help you decipher. You will see many good things in your Christian experience, but they are not from God. It's not in this kingdom, it's, we don't deal with good or bad. We deal with whether the Holy Spirit is involved or not. No matter how good it is, 
if the Holy Spirit who is the Spirit of the Father is not involved in that process stay away no matter how good encounter with the person and the ministry of the Holy Spirit koinonia is God helping you tonight so there are times while I'm having several visions maybe in the miracle service and all of that you see it happen I can have the vision say of a coffin and I can see death now I don't just announce the Holy Spirit listen all of those visions will pass through the sieve of these foundational visions these foundational encounters are we together now any vision I see that does not glorify the Son I will never announce it I will throw it like that the same way you are passing the street and you see a madman you just know that somebody was there and you passed you are focusing on what you are looking at there are many other things you will see other than what God wants you to see but you must first ask yourself a question this is why I'm teaching you this because I have had this encounter with the Son of God every other encounter I have I must ask myself does this encounter reveal Jesus and does this bring him glory either in my life or the life of those I'm about to minister to if it does not capture the revelation of the Son and the glorification of the same no matter how spectacular the vision is I would dump it is someone learning now an encounter with the Son gives balance to every other encounter you have if it does not reveal the son and does not bring him glory throw it out of your life number two an encounter with the holy spirit the holy spirit gives you direction the holy spirit gives you guidance let me tell you this i wish we had the time i hope you know that in your christian experience you will get to a point where you will meet a lot of people with influences that produce results but if you have a rich ministry with the holy spirit you will be able to know that this is not the holy spirit and you may even be able to help them listen in my life and in ministry i've had the opportunity of praying for people especially kids kids that they brought that were demonstrating superhuman abilities it was because of this relationship with the holy spirit are we together remember in the book of acts the experience of Paul remember the little girl who was using divination many of us now would have entered partnership with her in ministry many of us you can't allow that opportunity to pass you by like that that is a rich opportunity for strategic alliance she even volunteered this is a great man I mean what else would you for someone to announce you using her credibility but he looked and looked and said no something is wrong the Holy Spirit I have met people in my life this is a true story I have met people in my life who called my name and prophesied to me and they were not Christians they've not given their life to Christ not it's not something hidden I remember one time I think it was Niger I was going to have a meeting I think it was Niger Republic or so and we were going we went we flew to Lagos and then went by road somewhere when we were doing just the immigration formalities I remember some of you go to the market and you see these people they are there they can call your name with uncanny accuracy if you do not have an encounter with the Holy Spirit your search for visionary solutions will lead you to delusion Joshua Selman ah who are you well I'm not exactly an evil person but I'm not by everybody's visionary experience is powered from a source what source powers that vision it is not the correctness of the information is the source that powers it and listen you have no right to just look at people and begin to judge them if your own relationship with the Holy Spirit is not alive by what parameter you will become judgmental and you will mix both good and bad and call everybody fake it is on the strength of your relationship with the Holy Spirit you can decipher Are we learning now yes sir there are times that I've shaken hands with people and I look at them sincerely 
and you see them manifesting a semblance of the anointing and i know this is not god sometimes i make one statement and they are delivered there and they themselves will be surprised i know a woman one time that i prayed for this woman would have visionary encounters people would come to her house she can pray for you she said she had testimonies of people who were barren who God opened their wombs but she knew something was wrong because when she lies to sleep she will be tormented by evil spirits yet this gift supposedly was working in her life the day I met her she came thank God she was a sincere woman she was honest and she told me she said this is a gift that has been working in her life people have sowed into her life she's had results but I knew this was not the spirit now it didn't mean the woman was bad I have a relationship with the Holy Ghost I know how he operates I know what is not him and I held the woman's hands and I prayed for her why did they flog the apostles in the Bible because they tampered with somebody's way of getting money there were some evil men who saw that young girl and when they saw her instead of them to lead her to someone who will help her they decided to cash in on the opportunity while those demons continued to torment that girl I love the apostles when they came they didn't have time for rubbish they rebuked that spirit even though they flogged them later on but at least Jesus was glorified are we together encounter with the Holy Spirit listen to me until you cultivate your relationship with the Holy Spirit you will never step into the realm of discernment and sensitivity and in this end time brothers and sisters you need sensitivity there are many things that look like God that is not God there are many things that look like God speaking to your destiny I can prophesy favor upon you now and say in the name of Jesus Christ be favored you will say amen the moment you say amen you will see a text in your phone after service and it's 419 people they will tell you give us your account number give us something and um, um, there is some money that you want somewhere you have you seen those kinds of people and the devil will now connect it to the prophetic word of favor and that begins your destruction for instance but when you know the Holy Ghost, you know how he operates. You know that this is not God. And you dump that nonsense out of your phone and give yourself rest. There are times you sit down and you are doing, you are talking with people, you are about to do a business with them. They are so articulate, they are intelligent, everything is right. But here comes the Holy Ghost again. It tells you, no, no. I know I told you that I will bless you next week, but this is not it. The blessing is coming but this is not it and there are times that many things will not look like it but it is it it is still him that will tell you you see that is the strange thing with the Holy Spirit you will see a job that does not look like it and the Holy Ghost will tell you take that job 50,000 when I am waiting for one that will give me 250 and the Holy Ghost will tell you take it but this does not look like the vision I saw because you have an encounter with the Holy Ghost he will say take it whilst you are in that job your uncle will come and it is through that job you'll be sent for a training and you will meet your destiny helper and within five months you will leave that job into where God showed you now had you not heard God you will not even know how to navigate to that realm are we learning now number three very